Hello everybody, today we're going to be playing through my favorite video game ever, Nightmare Ned. And I have played it a few times before actually, really fun. for this game as a kid, and it scared the crud out of me. I'm home. Really? Mom? Dad? I'm trying not to talk over the cutscene, I'm sorry. But, yeah, anyways, Ned comes home from school, finds out his parents are gone, and, uh, watch. Ned had to go pick, pick up Dad, Dad from, from work. Mark took, took Amy, Amy with me. Stop skipping! Should be home by, by seven. Love, love, Mom. Okay, seriously, quit skipping. So anyways, he has the house to himself for a while, and, um, fun ensues. Watch this. Take the mold records off the shelf, will ya? <laughs> Literally me. <laughs> no sweets. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I recognize that sound effect from Beatmania 2DX, but that's for another time. Hello? <laughs> <Stop>! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this gets me every time I watch it. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it, it's got me. Quit skipping. <laughs> <sighs> Me when the silly. So anyways, power goes out, and, um... I'm going to bed. What he said. So, uh, watch what happens in the background. Oh, here they come! The creepies. They're coming. Oh, they're there again. And this just happens to him on a regular basis, apparently, so... Oh! Alright, here's where the real fun begins. This... this scared the crap out of me when I saw the trailer as a kid. And pretty much everything else in the trailer, too, but we'll talk about that later. We start the fun. So let me see if I can get the music up for y'all. If if I can. Music is gone, gone. Stop freaking stuttering. But anyways, music on. But yeah, we gotta get the music on because it's beautiful. And um, I'm gonna show you a little Easter egg right off the bat. So we're gonna save this game. What's what's your name? 
Yeah, ignore the rest of them. I was just fooling around with the names. But if we type in Ned, here's what he'll say. Hey! We have the same name! Cool! It is pretty cool, huh? But anyway, we'll just go ahead and replace it. Save it! Save it! I, I really like the... He says different things, too. I may try to rip them somehow, but that'll be for another time. But let, let's go right ahead and get in here, shall we? I'm just dying for you to visit. Dying for you to visit. Good one. But anyways, this is the main hub, the quilt. So it looks like a really ragged version of Ned's bed, obviously. And this is where you get to enter the different nightmares. But the thing is, I wouldn't recommend coming back to the quilt every time. Just because every time you do, you lose a an hour. And you have eight hours. And if you lose all your hours, you get the bad ending. And I don't want that, so... I'll show you other ways to get to the other nightmares. So... Anyways, starting off in graveyard level, let's go. Unfortunately, this plot is purchased. Uh, Alright, so let's go. Yep, just like I remember seeing in the trailer as a kid. So we got this- Ow! Oh, don't do that, that's not nice. Anyways, we gotta hit this guy. And the cat's let out of the bag. Rather literally. Stop freaking lagging, please. And if we go down here, there's something pretty deep. Yep, just like I saw in the trailer too. That part also weirded me out. Anyway. <laughs> Those silly little creatures and their noises. I love it. Alright, so here's what we gotta do. There's a little tough dancing lamb. He's so happy. But watch this. Hit him. There we go. So then what we gotta do is um jump up on here and there we go. We we finna get out of here. Then, uh, why, why I say that? Anyways, let's keep going this way. Watch out for that spider, it'll bite you if you stand still. Oof! Oh! Goodness gracious. Alright, we got him. We got him. Alright. It's just, this is just beautiful. Like, look at the background. It's everything. Oh, the little pumpkin there. We'll say hi to him in a little bit. They're really funny. But anyway, we gotta climb up here. Uh, I love these little ghosts so much. They're so cute. But we have to... We gotta get him out of here. Hey, that in the tongue looks like my face. I don't know if you caught that. But that's pretty cool. Now we gotta get this guy, so basically there, there's a timing thing you gotta watch for. Yeah, and don't let him poke your brains out either, that's not good. Hey! Quit it. I'm trying to attack him, really. He went right before he's about to attack me, you gotta hit him with the yo-yo like what I just did. So you gotta do this a few times, and then uh something happens. Eat my yo yo Oh frick. Stop! See, here we go. So, every time you complete a little bit of it, part of the shadow creature's true identity is revealed. And once the whole identity is revealed, you've completed the nightmare. So, at this point, though, we gotta keep going. So now we're gonna... Uh, oh, shoot. The <laughs> ladder's that way. <laughs> Anyway... Oh, 
Alright, let's say hello to these little pumpkins I love so much. They're so funny. Ain't, ain't you ever seen a pumpkin before? <laughs> ever seen a pumpkin? Whoa! <laughs> They're so funny. I can't help it. My head is ready to burst all over! This you can't avoid, unfortunately. But... Are you looking at my head? No! Kids love pumpkin Ain't you ever puke. seen a pumpkin before? Ain't you ever seen a pumpkin before? Ever seen a pumpkin? Whoa! Shut up. Alright, next one. Let's, let's stop in here for a little bit. Oh boy. So then here's what you gotta do. Hey little thing. Yeah, don't disturb him. He'll rip you to shreds. For our boy. You gotta hit him next and this is so cute! Look at how cute it looks! Look at how cute it looks! And it'll help you get out of here. Like so. This is so cute! Like, what? What? <laughs> this is just so weird and I love it. Alright, keep going. What? Hey, we got a little girl scout. Eat my yo yo. I love when he says that. Eat my yo yo. Get him. And now we gotta eat a cookie. I wonder what flavor it is. Ooh! Ew. Yeah. Worm cookies, I bet. So now we gotta go over here for a zombie. <laughs> that zombie probably thought I was his son or something. Anyway, we, we, we get thrown in here and. Okay. I'm sorry, but that pony is a pain to listen to. It's just so sad. Afraid of the dark. Afraid of the dark. L let me hop up, please. Please. Oh, shoot. Uh, give me a minute. No! I didn't want that. I know, I know, pony. I know. Night light. Night light. That bat stole my night light. I'll, I'll help you get it back. My Thank you. <laughs> you can go now. Bye bye. That pony, I swear. It's such a pain to listen to. I'm not sure why that little girl is okay with having that pony screaming constantly, but whatever floats her boat, I guess. Anyways, we're we're getting out of there. And <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Alright, we got more of the real personality there. More of the real personality reveals. Keep going. <laughs> So, let's go down here for a second, shall we? Quit lagging. So we go down here, and... You're not gonna believe what we're gonna see down here, but... It's my parents as zombies. Oh dear. Eat my yo-yo. So yeah, that's it's, it's my parents as zombies. How horrifying. Anyways, we're gonna climb back up there. Oh heck, you don't even have to hold the up arrow key. He just he'll just keep going. Man, don't look so scared. It's me, Yay! Grandpa Ted. Grandpa Ted. Grandpa? The one and only. Are you 
Dead? Well, not yet. So stop the worrying. We still have places to go, things to do. Just me and you. Call me when you wake up. We'll take in a monster movie. Take it to a monster movie, huh? Well, I guess it's really no wonder. Uh, I did not make Ned jump, by the way. Well, that's alright. So, I'm just gonna show you how I... go to another nightmare from here. So, just follow. I just like exploring every nook and cranny. That will take you to the bathroom, but I don't want to do that. So, we're gonna keep going. And quit hitting me, stupid spider. You're a weirdo. Alright. No, no, no! That guy was about to cut my head off. I can't let that happen to me. This guy is a pain. I actually got him this time. That's nice. Because oftentimes I get in a stun lock. Or like I feel like I can't even escape. Now we go back to where we started. But like I said, we're gonna go someplace really cool. So that we can go to the next nightmare. And this is just the route I prefer taking, but <clears throat> that's just me. If you wanna play it for yourself, you can do what you wanna do. We're gonna get to the cat again. Hey guys! We let the cat out of the bag again. So, remember when we went this here? We're gonna go in here again. For a pretty good reason. So our second time going down, this is what'll happen. We go straight down this time, rather than bumping on the heads, for whatever reason. But watch this! This is hilarious. <laughs> Dude, I literally... I want to get tickled by that couch so bad. That would, that would be so funny. <laughs> you just pawned all of a sudden? What? <laughs> anyway. Falling down again. <laughs> Alright, so... Through there we can go to the attic basement beyond, but before we do that, we have to hit this little lamp thing. I'm not sure how Farm, right? But we're filling up? Oh no! Oh, get me out of here! Help! Get me out of here! Alright, so we gotta scooch our way toward that thing there. Before the place all fills up with sand. Then. Really? Come on, I thought you were gonna hit it then. There we go. Alright, we got ourselves out of this. So now we can finally go through this little door here. Oof. Come on. Which one? There we go. Also, the transition music here is peak, it is just gorgeous. Basement and Beyond Nightmare. Come on. Eat my yo-yo. Oh, crud. So yeah, what you gotta do is... Whack these cats here. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Eat my yo-yo. I love when he says that. That one's good. Oof. Oh, God. I hate when that happens. Alright, let's go to 
the right. Okay, let, let, let's not hurt, let's not hurt the mom anymore, please. Then we go across, um, Wild, Weird, and Wonderful. Yes, those are their names. And they look so cool. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, whoa, what? Alright. Now, Weird reminds you of Cat Dog. And you can plainly see why. Oh, whoa. Alright. Alright, wonderful. You're going down. Alright. Up here we go. Alright, up to the left. Sometimes the camera on this game can be weird, but that's alright. This actually looks cool. The dark one there? We now come across these little snake dogs. The dogs with snakes for tails. Whichever. It looks like looks like they want that steak up there. Let's give it to them. Oh! This is going by real quick. Anyway, let's let's climb up this ladder here, worn by the tails. For some reason, these two remind me of Phil and Lil from Rugrats. Only because of the fact that they are twins. Hey, hey, who's got the key? Hey, hey, who's got the key? Oh, that was my foot. Was not. Was too. The amazing twins. Conjoined twins, that is. This this lady looks like Marge Simpson. <gasps> no, you're true. I thought you were true. I'm too strange to be true. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> she just sounds like Marge Simpson. What? <laughs> Homie! <laughs> my yo yo. I'm now a slug. Don't let Marge Simpson get me. <laughs> okay, Marge Simpson, I think you're overdoing it. <laughs> I literally can't get over the way she laughs. Like, <gasps> call me! <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm back to a being a human. Yay! <laughs> the car takes you back to the graveyard. So we're not gonna do that. Down the ladder we go.
going? Alright. Oh! Oh no! Ugh, that sucks. One of those atomic wedgies, I think. Let's go down here. What's down here? Oh, no. Ooh! A little dragon. A friend of a friend took a trip to Acapulco. On the second day, she awoke with a zit the size of Puerto Rico. But a zit it was not, for it would not pop. She pinched and she picked and she pulled out the stops. But it grew and ballooned and it started to move. And then all of a sudden, a burst filled the room. She ran to the mirror to sneak a peek and screamed at the sight as baby spiders emerged from her cheek. That sounds gross, doesn't it? Also, a little fun fact. Ned, why'd you just shrink down on me? Anyway, um, the dragon's voice actor also voiced Fran the Squirrel in Higglytown Heroes. I bet you didn't know that until just now. My next door neighbor, Emily Grave, gave her poodle a bath on too cold a day. The poor dog shivered, shook, and cried out, but there wasn't a doggy hair dryer about. Then all of a sudden, Miss Grave lit up. The microwave, she thought, would dry up the pup. So she placed wet Henry on the carousel tray and smiled as he rotated in an auto show way. He yapped and he barked and then he blew up. Miss Grave learned the lesson. Never microwave your pup. Someone tried to steal my socks there. I don't know if you caught that. Um... There's one other story she tells, too, so let's listen to that one. A friend was parked in a car on a date in the, the dark. Her boyfriend told the story of the escaped convict Marvin the Shark. Marvin, it seemed, had only one hand, the other a hook caked with blood and a small sticker that read, Made in Japan. A scratch at the door caused the couple to flee down the curvy road to the town of Franey and into the garage. And what did they see? But a bloody, rusty hook stuck to the door handle as plain as could be. Oh. A gasp and a sigh oh, at the terrible sight, there, like. barely escaping the things that go scratch in the night. Pretty funny story. And I had a little itch there, as you can see. I had to shake my clothes out. But that's alright. I'm feeling better, so I'll keep going. Come on, camera. What are, what are you doing, camera? Hi. What? I'm Sally. And this is my friend with the string, Sandy Patty Cake. Hi, Sandy Patty Cake. I rub you a rot. Creepy. Found Sandy in the trash. Can you believe someone threw her out? Um... I found nearly everything right here. My secret treasure chest. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Promise? Cross my heart. So yeah, we completed the egg basement and beyond nightmare, but I haven't showed you everything, so let's keep going. Because I want to show you everything. Lots of fun stuff. This, this part I remember from the trailer too. That also weirded me out as a kid. This, this part's really fun. So let's go through this little part here. So what you do, turn on the lamp, go back in and watch. Okay. Th this one's adorable. I love this one. Um, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving moment. If you know, you know. Oh gosh! Th this one's adorable too. Meeting Mickey. That is so precious. Anyways, moving on. Here we get a reference to Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. So, uh, hold on. Uh, gotta get it just right. <laughs> they were trying to pull my guts out. 
meal, birds. Danger don't touch, yeah, right. So we have this cool looking pack mule, it's called. The human pack mule. Watch this. We're giving it food, yay! going to the bathroom from here, because why not? That's a big rat! Oh my goodness. <laughs> big daddy rat. Hey look, it's one of the talking toilets from Captain Underpants. Especially for me. That takes you to the graveyard look, which we've already done. So, we're gonna go back down this toilet. And we have this duck trying to shoot us down, it looks like. now. That takes us back to Attic Basement and Beyond, which is... I realized I forgot to show y'all something from Attic Basement and Beyond, so we'll get back to that in a bit. But for right now, we gotta keep going in here. Let's go... down here. Now, this transition right here... I also remember from the trailer, and you already know what I'm gonna say. Yep, it also weirded me out as a kid. Like, basically the whole trailer weirded me out, but that... That was one thing that especially weirded me out. fall down on the toilets. It's really cool. Drain snake! Which I also remember from the trailer. I love this so much. So then, you just 
so that part to the right takes you to the medical nightmare, which I don't want to do right now. We gotta keep going in the bathroom, so let's go down this pipe. You'll be seeing this quite a bit, too, by the way, just a uh, heads up. Across these these bathtubs were what scared me the most as a kid when I saw the trailer. I was like, why are they moving like that? Why are they going so fast? You know? Like that, yeah. These freaking bathtubs. Also, this song's freaking disturbing. We'll go ahead and go up this ladder. Which brings us to one of my favorite parts of the game. And my favorite song of the game, too. I'll, just, I'll shut up and just let you listen to it. Listen to it! It is amazing! What is this? Some kind of gorilla? Ain't no gorilla, ain't no grizzly bear. I'm what you're gonna be someday. No way! So fuzzy and so furry everywhere. That's right, my boy, and you'll have so much hair that your mom won't even know ya. She'll scream, get away from me! She will? Yeah. And that's the truth on just how growing up it's gonna be. Bet you wish you were dreaming. Yeah. No chance you are gonna be 12 feet tall. Oh, no, no. And everyone will, will look like, like tiny ants, much like the Eiffel Tower wearing pants. Oh. Well, you're so shrimpy now, kid. Don't you want to grow up tall? Not that tall. Well, that's how growing up will be, and that's not all. It's not? Your cute little dimples will turn to little pimples going pop, pop, pop. Stop. And every single morning you will find a brand new crop Stop! But the worst part of it is What? Nobody else is gonna look like this You'll try ointments, creams, and gels But you'll still be different from everyone else Wait a minute Nobody comes out looking like that No, no, nobody but you, poor guy You're just trying to scare me No, we're not but hey, if you believe it's all a lie, you can go ahead and think so. Cause someday you will know it's true. I will, huh? You'll look into the mirror. Yeah? And it will all be clearer. Sure. You'll know the awful things that grow being up can do to you. No way. I love that song so much. I just, I kept having the urge to sing along, but I decided to just be quiet and let you listen, because it's just so beautiful. Alright, we gotta carry on. Back to the creepy toilets. Alright, back to this. We have to go back down that pipe though, because we gotta finish the that one part. We gotta go across the toilets. And surprisingly, I haven't revealed any part of the shadow creature yet. That's kind of weird, but that's all right. We're just gonna keep going until we reveal the. The identity. So that said, let's go. There we go. Oh, 
Oh hey, um, we got more of the build. Freaking awesome. Go across here again, shall we? Maybe. Ooh! I'm so close to getting electrocuted, but I just missed it. No! Dude. So, yeah, with that happens, you guys start all over again. Oh. Being haunted by a toilet? I'm more than a toilet, man. Take a look. Promise not to flesh me? I'll try my best. All I saw was me. That's right. A nuclear power plant of hormones ready to experience a meltdown. Huh? You'll see. And remember, it's only a mirror and doesn't always reflect the boy inside. Oh, and you gotta quit flushing those banana pills. They're killing me! Sorry. Hey. I'm not being electric. That hurts. I'm gonna get let's it again. Oh well. Uh, oh not again. Like I said, we're gonna just go ahead and um, go back to the attic basement and beyond for a second because I forgot to show you something. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Come on camera, catch up. Stupid camera. show y'all the fortune teller excuse me the fortune teller i'm glad you could drop in Ned. the planet presents an opportune time to tell your planetary fortune so all you gotta do is just um put the object as they fly by and that's, pr that's pretty much it but it's so hard to do so My yo yo. Rapid fire on the space guard here. And sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. There we go. Alright, so we got another. Great. So that's the other part I really wanted to show y'all. No, no, we're not going back there. No, no. We're gonna go to the medical nightmare next. So to do that from here, we have to go up that ladder. This one. And here we go. 
Quit lagging, stupid. The end! <laughs> Got me thinking of ASDF movie. <laughs> Alright. to the gurney and let's have some fun, shall we? Now you gotta avoid getting your organ stolen. By the way, if you play this game on a modern PC, this part goes by super fast. So the way I'm playing right now is accurate. In case you're wondering. We need a janitor to clean up a mess yeah. in operating oh, room B. Dr. You better bring a bucket. Please contact the head surgeon. What the heck? Okay, I was gonna say, I'll let one of them take one of my work. It's just as close. Just so you can see what you're actually supposed to do in there. Ow! Yeah, um, I think two more gets Ow! Three will be taken, then. That will really give us a challenge. But it is possible to go through here without having any of them stolen. Which is a good ending, but we're just gonna go ahead and have three of them stolen. This is what happens, so now you have to get your organs back. There's a trick to it by keeping the game what it is, so I'm just gonna go through. <laughs> a little frame bowl, oh my gosh. you'll end up like this person who freaking what uh wait a second because i'm just below a ladder here we go Godmother Gingivitis, and I welcome you to the magic of toxic breath. Fairy Godmother Gingivitis. 
<laughs> this is so, so funny. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's keep going. I'm kind of just breathing past this at this point. I've seen, like, if you've seen Silent Noises speedruns, you may have seen her avoid the bad creatures in some, um, I can't quite figure out how to do that myself, but I guess it's just random. Oh my goodness. Oh! Stop eating me! Oh. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, well. Stop, dude. Back off. Yep. Whatever. Whatever, dude. No, I don't want you. I want the freaking. Go ahead. I'm not. No! Stop! Coming, it's great to be here. I ain't your baby, I'm your you, you love. Thank you. I ain't your honey, and I'm, I'm feeling blue, you, you love. Cause you won't even give me how, how you, you love. I just hang here and sing, but, but maybe I sure know how to swing. I ain't your baby, but it's true, you love. That if you'd only look and see all the ways I can move, you'll attune to my groove, you'll applaud, you'll approve, you'll agree. I may be just a small town, you Beulah, but I'm the king of the mouth, and I gotta be me. Yes, I gotta be me. Good night, everybody. Drive safely and remember, uvula backwards is I love you. Fun song. I just had to be quiet for that one too. Because the way I sing it is so awkward. You wouldn't want to hear me sing it. You really wouldn't. But anyway. Save this. Save it. <laughs> all right, all right, we're out of the sunblock. <laughs> that was funny. No, I didn't want that. What? Oh well. Also, why was part of it glitched? I don't understand. We gotta get back, bro. <sighs> Could you please try to watch where you step? Bro, we gotta get back to the freaking, uh... Here we go! Alright. Sorry about that. We're gonna... Try to breeze through the mouth again. We gotta get past it, though. Yo-yo. 
Still got my toxic breath. That's awesome. In reality, it's not something to be proud of. Ah! Quit! No! Lovely seeing you. Please excuse me. I've got to get these lollipops to a patient upstairs. You mean, not gonna do anything to me? See you later. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Again, I don't recommend doing it, but that's okay. The only one we have left is the school nightmare, so let's go in here. Dare you to enter this nightmare? Will do. All right. school's a freaking prison, so here we go. Let's see if I can get to the art class thing first up. Oh! Can't avoid that. Let, let's just do the art class thing first up, because that's literally one of my favorite parts of the game. like to start off with the skeleton, so we're going to do that first. Prepare for battle. Eat my yo-yo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing voice impressions of Ned. I swear, if they ever do like a fan reboot of the series or something, please have me voice Ned. I would be honored to voice him. Ooh! Boogie! Anyway, we yeah. gotta. Oh, frick. Eat my yo yo. I don't wanna boogie again. Finish him. Finish him! <laughs> totally a uh, Mortal Kombat reference. Next up, chicken. 
Or rooster, whichever. Prepare for battle. save files earlier in the video, one of them called Queso. It was just to be funny. So now I'm, now I'm wondering which one of them is Queso. Because when I made that save file, that said, hey, I have a classmate with that name. Which is kind of funny. No, Baldi, don't spank me. That sounded like Baldi when he was like... Like when the guy was like smashing his fist or whatever, it sounded like Baldi. Alright, the song in here is pretty cool too, so I'll be quiet and just let it play. Good morning! Now open your math book to page 
Now we have a nice surprise for you. It is a short pop quiz. Yay! Get a piece of paper out and put your calculator. Okay! Oof. I'll wait for the right time and just get on that platform. So. You're hopeless. I guess we have to start from the very beginning. Two and 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 eighty four and seven hundred twenty three divided by fifty plus thirty seven minus fifty two plus eight plus eighty seven thousand times the market price of kerosene. The world a hundred rounded up by ten divided by forty four then put it in and nine by thirty five. Like I said, it just takes a while for these to line up. That's right, so. It's kind of tiring. Yay! Alright, there we go. My yo yo. There we go. All right. It's me. All right. All right. So that's a rather interesting part of the game. Together. Yo, shh! Quit stun locking me. Stop! Quit. <laughs> yeah, another stun lock moment. Oh boy. Who this supposed to be? We will see. I bet you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. Actually. I don't know what flavor pie though. Does it like blueberry pie or something? That's not bad. That's not bad for freaking uh cafeteria, you know what I mean? here now. Yes, those are their names, by the way, and they're from the TV series. They're really mean. I don't like them. They can be- on the show, they're really funny at times, but they're just so mean. Anyway, for context, they clogged up the toilets, and they blame it all on Ned, so... 
Well, 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 Ned Needlemeyer. Where is that number? You've reached Time's Up Animal Shelter. Yeah, sh uh, shoot. <laughs> you almost said a bad word. <laughs> the bane of my freaking I existence. hope your parents are ready. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes! This is an outrage! There is no way our darling Max could do something this heinous, this pedestrian, this lubricious. So that's the good ending. That's what we want. Hi, Ned. Surprised? What are you doing here? Well, you, you know, I thought I was gonna... Uh, I always wanted to hang out with you, but I'm scared everyone would think I wasn't as tough as everyone thinks I am. I'd hang out with you, Billy, but you have to stop calling me Melonhead. That's fair. See you later, Billy. Yep. Thanks, Ned. Billy the Chad. Billy's one of my favorite characters. I'm just gonna say that right now. Good ending! We did it! we supposed to do? We could perform hideous, painful medical procedures on each other. And that's it. That's... That's the game. We did it. Creative Capers. Thank you, Creative Capers. And special thanks to Walt Dorn. Also, a little fun fact for you. Did you know that the founders of Creative Capers actually worked for Don Blues back in the 80s? Most especially on projects such as The Secret of Nim, An American Tale, and Lamp for Time. And if I recall correctly, they also worked on The Chipmunk Adventure, Rover Danger Field, and The Page Master, among other things. So, that's pretty cool. So, Don Bluth and Nightmare Ned do have a connection. If you've never played this game before, please check it out. It is fun, it's beautiful, it's just amazing.
And that is about it for his video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.